Good evening, folks. All right, here we have a review on a on a well, just one uh, Cantonese course I got recently. Um, it is called, as you can see, spoken Cantonese for international students. I think this is a very good book. Um, as far as level, I would say from beginner to um, at least an intermediate. I would say, or maybe lower intermediate. It's a very good book. It has the, um, I like how they explain, how they break down the tones. They give you these charts at the beginning. Let's see here. Let's see if I can close in. As you can see, they have this very useful chart to break down the tones. There. And I thought it was cool how they had the actual, you know, the symbols. First tone, second tone, then third tone, and fourth tone. Like that. It was interesting. Let's see if I can focus that in a little bit more. As you guys can see there. Yeah, the symbols. Or the, yeah. So yeah, as I always say, and I still follow this philosophy, I don't really focus on tones in the beginning. I just kind of learn them naturally by just listening a lot. Now, I'm, in a, I'm at a point in my Cantonese where I can go back and actually go through the tones and try to understand them. I could do that right now if I wanted to because I've, you know, built up a lot of experience of listening and I'm familiar with the tones, you know. So I will still follow that philosophy. But for those who... For those who are just, you know, interested in, you know, getting into the tones right away, then that's fine. This is, you should try this book out. It's a very good book when it comes to that. You have a few charts and it has the audio. And here are some more charts to help you get used to the tones. So, finals, they talk about finals. Six tone is low level tone. So yeah, it's a very good book. I was looking at the beginning of this when I first got it. I was like, wow, it's it's pretty good for breaking down tones. But see, it seems like they only introduce like they only go through the six tones. You know, Cantonese has nine tones, but they uh, I don't see anything about the seventh, eighth, and ninth ninth tone here. So yeah. So yeah, basically you have your dialogues, useful expressions, and they included some characters there. So, bunch of characters, main character in the conversation, school principal, Chinese teacher, class teacher. So yeah, it's very interesting. Then you have your students. Everything is in a bubble. Linguistic structure structures. So yeah, it's a pretty good book. Um, dialogues and they give some grammar explanations. So uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea for a beginner to pick this book up. But if you're I'll tell you, if you're beyond intermediate, this will be probably too easy for you. I would just not really mess around with it. You can only get this book at, um, uh, what is that, Situational Conversation. I like that. You'll only be able to get this book over on Greenwood Press. Spoken Cantonese, and it comes with audio. And as you can see here, this is basically a workbook. That's all that is. Fill in the blanks. I'm not a big fan of it, but a lot of people like to, you know, like to um, work on those type of exercises. So, yep, that's all fill in the blank. Who was this? This book and that. This book and that book are mine. Then they give you some um, sentences like these questions, and they ask you to write them out in Cantonese. So that's it. Spoken Cantonese, very good book. For beginners and uh thanks for viewing and uh look forward to any questions.